Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to find a particular font or at least a similar font to something that you're looking for. It could be on a web page or in a document that doesn't show you fonts like a PDF file or something like that. So to do that, all you need to do is take a picture of it, like a little screenshot, and then we have a couple sites we're going to upload it to and see what it could find here. Okay, so for the first test, I know that this font is called Nantino, so we're going to use the snipping tool. I'll take a picture of it. You could use whatever screen capture software you like. Okay, so we're going to save this. And Tino, I think that's how you spell it. Okay, so now we're going to go to this site first, what the font, and see what it finds. So we're just going to drag it in here. Now it'll kind of crop it for you for the text and I like to leave this as is because it seems to do a better job if you let it pick its own selection here otherwise you could expand it if it's not finding the text here. Then we'll click on the arrow here. So here's the picture right here of the real text and here's what it found that matches. So uh, there's a pretty good chance it's not going to find the exact font. But these are really similar, so you could find something that's close. And then, of course, it gives you some options to buy it. Or you could go on other sites once, now that you know the name and see if you could find it free or cheaper. Obviously, you're not going to pay $229 for a font there. Okay, so now we're going to try it in this one here, Font Finder. Okay. Now we click on this maturated button okay so here's what I found Concord without sans so these not as good as the other site so it tried to find it but I wouldn't call those a good match so obviously some fonts are going to work better than others so for the next one let's go back to the start here oh, not that far back Okay, so let's go to this one here, show you an example when it's not a clear background. This one's called Viga. If you have a really complicated background, you might want to crop it out or see if you could, you know, remove it in your photo editing software before doing it. Okay, so let's save this. Okay, let's try it here first. Okay, let's go with the default selection here. So here's what it found that it thinks matches. This first one's not too bad. Same with this one here, you know, not perfect. And it's not finding the exact Vega text or font. Okay, so let's try this one here. Okay, so there's the original right there in the blue, and here's what I found. Specify, Algeria, and yeah, they're okay. Okay, so now we're going to do one more test for something a little more extreme here. Let's do Algerian here. Okay, let's go back here. See, so this one it actually found Algerian, so it matched it pretty good there. And now let's go here. Oh, 
Okay, so it looks like this site didn't find it. So this one, like I said, I like this site better. It seems to have better results. So I would think that anything that's really different, it probably has a better chance of finding the real font compared to the first ones we were doing because they're pretty generic looking. It's like trying to, you know, copy Arial or something, expecting it to notice this, the, notice the differences in that between that and something like this. All right, so I'll put the... Uh, Links in the description. So, like I said, just you know, use your snipping tool, take a picture of it, and if you have a background, like we did for this one here, it might cause a problem depending how if it's a busy background, if it kind of blurs out the text itself. So you might have to do something funky to kind of get it to uh, recognize the text better, and then you could try and find the fonts. And like I said, just Get the names and then see if you could browse around online, find them cheaper, or if you want to pay the big bucks, you could most likely buy them right from there. And I'll also put a link in the description for a free font site that I like to use where you might even be able to find them there if you get lucky. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.